click FMC, generate FMC root, and it generates that very long FMC root just by the click of a button. Hello everyone, this is GeoFS Flights channel. Today I'm going to show you guys a more efficient way to make FMC routes, and this is a lot more realistic as well. If you uh, have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I have I already have a tutorial on making flight plan routes using flight plan database. I'll leave a list, uh, link in the description to that as well. You can go check that out if you want to uh, have a beginner's way of making FMC routes using uh, flight plan database. This is more of a advanced, also realistic, but also pretty simple if you can follow along. So all we'll do is go to SimBrief. I'll leave the uh, link to that in the description as well. We're going to create an account and then after that we'll go to dispatch and then go to my flight plan and for the purpose of this video we'll do um, a simple flight from San Francisco to New York so I'll go to new flight here and then I'll select KSFO2 and let's do Newark instead and we'll do a triple seven and this is the route that uh, Simbrief has made for us if you want to modify it, you go down here, you go to root, you copy that, go to sky vector, and then you'll click on flight plan. Mm, I'm going to do a new flight plan. So we'll put the departure, San Francisco, and then we're going to put the arrival, um, KEWR, and we're just going to paste this in. So as you can see, this is the route that has been made for us. Um, we can modify it, of course. I'm going to just completely get rid of it, and then I'm just going to... Um, make the route on Sky Vector, and I'll get back to you when I'm done with that. Okay, so this is my final route. I modified it a little bit, so so we'd pass through uh, Lake Tahoe, and we'd pass through Salt Lake City, um, and then I think we passed through Denver, and then we passed through Chicago, and then we just make our way into New York. So of course you can use Sky Vector to modify um, FMC routes and make them realistic. So now I'm just going to take this route and paste it into the uh, route in SimBrief. So I'm just going to paste this here. Now make sure that I change the departure runway. So we'll we'll say two eight left, and paste this, and analyze, and this looks good. Okay. So and then we'll click generate route. So of course it doesn't have to say that the root is valid, even if the root is invalid, but the waypoint show up fine on SimBrief, you'll be okay. So we'll do that, and then we're going to go down to Flight Plan Downloads, and we're going to download the Google Earth KML. So after that, we're going to open up Google My Maps, and the way you can do that is just say mymaps.google.com, and you're going to create a new map, and I'll we'll just give it a name, San Francisco to New York new work actually and we'll add a layer and I do this because I like to be organized so I'm just going to call this one fly route and then I'm going to import the KML file into the second layer and then I'm going to rename that to waypoints of course you don't have to do that uh, I just do this for formatting purposes I'm going to move the fly route here um, move the departure airport here and then move the arrival airport here uh, move it up yes into there and then you also want to get rid of the TOC and TOD waypoints now what you'll do is uh, you can add an arrival if it's not there so I'll just uh, quickly do that on Google my maps and then I'll get back to you so as you can see we don't have an arrival so I'm gonna add one really quickly Okay, so this is my handcrafted arrival into the um, runway 2 to left. As you can see, I have this line over here. Um, this line is only for helping me to make sure that we're on the center line for the approach. But other than that, you can get rid of this. The other thing you want to do is make sure that all of these waypoints you just added are in this uh, waypoints layer. If they're not, make sure you move them from the flight route to the waypoints. And the last thing you want to make sure is that all the waypoints are in order. So by default, SimBrief is going to add the waypoints in order. So and up until Suite, um, then you want to make sure that all of your waypoints are in order. So we have Dofer, Willow, Gerfeld, uh, Tether, Court, and then the runway 2 to left waypoint. 
So now that we have all that, um, we can go ahead and if you want to modify the flight route, you can go ahead and do that as well. I'll just do it real quickly. And then another thing I like to do is just uh, change the icons. Okay, so this is our flight route on Google My Maps. And then what we're going to do is use a computer program that I have made to convert this My Maps into an FMC route. So I'll post the link to it in the description. So this is the website. So it's going to take a Google My Maps CSV file and convert it into the GLFS FMC route. So let's do that. We go to Google My Maps. I'm going to go to the waypoints layer. Make sure it's the waypoints layer and it has only with the waypoints. And then I'm going to go here, export data CSV. Then I'm going to upload the CSV file to here. So uh, New York, San Francisco, New York. And then I'm going to put in the ICAO codes, EWR, and I'm just going to make up a flight number 727. And then you put all that, and then you click generate FMC route. It's going to create an FMC route. And then you can just go ahead and copy and paste this into the DUFS FMC. Let's do that. So as you can see, I'm now spawned into San Francisco. Let's go ahead and open up the FMC. And I'm just going to load this route into the FMC. And it should, um, uh, it should work. And then you just select the first waypoint, make sure the distance looks all right. The distance shouldn't be a lot more, shouldn't be much more than the, uh, the direct flight route. So as you can see, the distance is 2288. Another way you can verify this, you go to the um, My Map, click on the route, you get the distance in miles, convert that to nautical miles. Oh, miles, to nautical miles. And that's around 2289. And then our route is around 2288. So that's uh, that's okay. That extra mile shouldn't do much difference. So yeah, that's one way you can make um, a realistic FMC route using SimBrief. And then if you want to make a more precise FMC route, um, I'll just open up my maps. You go, create a new map. Actually, I'll just use one of my existing maps. So for example, right here, I have a Grand Canyon tour. And, the pro and this route is um, flying through the canyon, so within the crevices. So we have to make sure that the route is as precise as possible. And as you can see, I have waypoints pretty much every around quarter of a mile. And that resulted in the route being around 500 miles long. So that's where the program comes into use because it's not efficient to go ahead and manually enter 500 waypoints. So you'll just use the computer program to uh, convert the route for you. But like I said, you can use Google My Maps to get very precise FMC routes. You can make it however you want. So it's really uh, like a custom made route. And then you'll just um, open up the export data. Make sure that the layer you're exporting has only waypoints. Okay, so no, um, only waypoints, no lines or anything. And that should be all the waypoints. You export the data, you click on CSV, you go to the FMC route generator. Uh, so we open up the CSV file, we put in the Grand Canyon, and I'm gonna put the airport codes, and that's gonna be GCN and then Grand Canyon tour. I click FMC, generate FMC route, and it generates that very long FMC route just by the click of a button. So that's my tutorial today on how you can use this program to make FMC routes for you. You can make them realistic, you can make them custom made, you can make them as precise as you want. So there's really a lot of flexibility that comes with uh, being able to use this program. And of course, it'll be in the description below. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful, and I hope you'll find this program helpful as well. I know a lot of people who have been making FMC routes for a while will definitely find this useful. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you for watching.